accounts or personalities on such things. But hey, I mean, if you really hate that game, why are you still here? That's that's what I said. Spitting. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna be dipping in the losers here. This is gonna be losers quarterfinals featuring Rivers and Goblin, which is uh, actually a really good set to have here. And these guys will be fighting it out. To see who's who's moving on and who's taking fifth place. Uh, both of them residing in Florida right now. Rivers, formerly a New Jersey resident, but. Uh, Currently living in Florida for uh, the internets. Yeah, just for the internets, I suppose. And currently rocking with the Goblin Ike. I haven't seen. Uh, I personally have not casted a Wi-Fi tournament that had uh, that had Goblin in quite some time. I've never seen this Ike personally. I know he's much more known for the Roy for sure, and whatever that tournament in Florida was going to be, unless like that was Cola. I don't remember. Point is, here he's at. We got Goblin out here with the Ike. And correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Rivers, he didn't play against an Ike recently. It wasn't at the DNA. So I might be thinking, I'm thinking of Mr. E. I'm thinking of Mr. No, e when he played against uh, Yez. At, you're not uh, far off, man. Uh, actually, Rivers does bump into some Ikes, does actually, was playing this character a little bit uh, as a huge Fire Emblem buff, but most recently you can find Rivers playing against uh, one of the best Ikes ever in Yez, playing against Raven King quite a bit. Uh, I believe, I forget, I, one of the hit point on lines, if not both of them, because there, there's always a lot of Ike presence there. So this is a matchup that Rivers is really familiar with um, and has effectively grinded out on a high level. Um, you could actually find them. These VODs will end up on VG Bootcamp most likely. If you want to go search through VG Bootcamp's catalog, you'll find them right now. Uh, Yez, who was in this bracket and did drop to Goblin just in the set before this, uh, it does look like Goblin did go away for that. Um, yeah, has played against that like successfully and has has proven victorious. But honestly, Goblin's Ike is probably a lot different than the Optimal Ike, as I believe this is a newer character for him. Yeah, he did go Ike against Aklo before. I mean, for at least one of those games, because he also picked out Roy in that set. And it's funny because to go back to Rivers here, I feel like I. This is like normally the kind of matchup that he typically prefers Krom in, you know, like just to deal with that disjoint a little bit better because in this matchup against a disjoint as huge and heavy and hard hitting as Ike's, Diddy can definitely combo Ike to pieces, right, once he's in. So but that's the scary part, it's picking what buttons. He's, I feel like Rivers has got to play a lot more disciplined in a matchup like this rather than Krom. So I, I do think that like uh, if, if we were offline, everything you're saying is, is pretty good because a lot of where Ultimate Online suffers is in the reaction times being essentially, if you're a player with good reaction times, which Rivers is, uh, you're essentially nerfed by some of the frame delay. So it means you got to play a little bit different. So Krom is very reactionary, Rivers is very good at those combo strings. However, when you have more time to react to things, um, in this sort of setting, it becomes very dangerous because, as you know, Krom's disadvantage state is just so terrible as is, let alone online, where the recoveries are, are, are they're tough, man. Because if you're Ike, all you really have to do is sit there, like, you know, swing your sword a little bit at the ledge or spam counter, and that's that's a dead Krom off stage. So I think Diddy provides just a lot more flexibility in terms of not only recovery, <clears throat> but just being able to mix up some movements when you can't always count on the. Uh, connection always being the, the, the most stable for your reactions. You know, it's so funny thinking of that happening, like, to characters that aren't Ike by Ike. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so funny thinking man. about Ike countering that move after all these years of Ike being in the game. But hey, just the name of Smash, if you would. And yeah, Diddy at the very least, you know, if he's able to just keep himself disciplined enough in this matchup, not press too many buttons and eat too many meaty hitboxes on the part of Ike. If he's patient enough, I feel like he can rock it pretty well as that forward air does take the stock. Diddy can rock the mid-range pretty well against Ike, but the thing is, it's that it's not even just rocking the mid-range. He's got a micro space in that space pretty well because that's a big, big sword. You're looking at it on screen right now on the part of Goblin with that Ike. It's just... I it feel like in this matchup, Diddy has really just got to watch his swinging a little bit more because I got to tell you, Rivers is like the king of making this character look easy, but trust me, he's making decisions like every second yeah, of his gameplay. Absolutely. And pretty much every interaction as these things go on, man. Every monkey flip, every forward air, every combo that you see, he is thinking about those interactions just very like a quick microsecond at a time. We'll take a look at this play right here. Yeah, man, Aether definitely in line for most improved moves in the game uh, after that yeah. patch, and it, it, it really is... It's really changed the character, man. Ike is a really good character just having that out of shield now. It's a reliable kill move. Um, you don't even need to confirm. You just need to wait for an unsafe option or someone overhead, and, and you got yourself a stop. But here we go. You called it, Nintunist. We are going to see Krom. Maybe uh, some 
you know, a little bit of comfort or familiarity when, when it comes to Rivers in this matchup. Um, I, guess, I guess we're going to find out. Um, everything I was saying earlier, still on the table. But, uh, you know, again, Rivers is really a master of this character, so we might be seeing some really good strings. But Goblin's playing really pretty, um, a lot better than, than you would expect for a character that isn't really the main. And a character that does not play very similarly as well. You know, like, everybody who hasn't played the game and everybody who, like, likes to generalize it or say, the Fire Emblem characters took my Geno spot. That's why Geno is not in the game. You know, like, no, they all, they're not the same character. They're not all Marth. They all play very differently from each other. I can Roy? Are you kidding? They're like polar opposites oh in terms of, like, how they actually play. Is that up B out of shield? Gonna take the stock right there, the ether, like you said, most improved. That is slow, strong, and meaty hitboxes. Whereas Rory, still meaty, but he'll mash in your face no problem. As we have the Echo Fighter of Rory right here to try and solve the Ike problem with just that going in. No more Diddy out here. Now he's got a disjoint to be able to contest with this one on his own. But as you mentioned earlier, Chris, he's just gotta watch himself off the level right here. That counter, pretty exploitable. Ooh, but that recovery, very exploitable, but same thing on the other way around. Forward Smash gonna take the stock, Chris. Yeah, you never want to roll in for Rivers. He's got that, uh, especially playing Krom, he's got that F Smash on, on, you know, basically on tap at all moments. And again, very good reactions from Rivers in general. So, is it gonna at least be able to even things up enough? Goblin's just been off to such a fast start. Uh, Rivers definitely has the hands full. We even got to watch the Ike kill Diddy off stage. So, I mean, Krom definitely in, in a bad position. So, we're gonna have to see Rivers win a lot of neutral here and at the moment as i said uh goblin just playing pretty airtight but rivers has overtaken a little bit of a lead albeit narrowly um and only for a moment so both these guys pretty much at one stray hit from losing the second stock goblin is doing such a wonderful job as that dash attack does not take the stock goblin's doing such a wonderful job at picking apart rivers whenever he's in the air Every single time you mentioned that Kromp disadvantage beforehand, and just like the first stock, tit for tat right back at you with the uh, with the uh, jab to the back air, the jer as the cool oh yes, call the it, jer. I suppose. Yep. God, I hate that. I haven't heard that in a while, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it. <laughs> I'm I'm upset that I mentioned it. I only did it because it's it just it just kind of semi politically correct. Let's go with that. It just kind of rolls off the tongue, unfortunately. Yeah. So let's see what Rivers can do here. If not, uh. Goblin perhaps moving on 2-0, um, although this is the position you definitely want to be in in either one of these guys' shoes on on the ledge. Other one, you know, basically standing over the ledge as the other one tries to recover. Yep, that's going to be a counter. That is this matchup in a nutshell. Both these guys do that to each other, and it's not fun, but... Um, <laughs> well, depending who you are. I'm sure if you're Rivers, you're definitely taking those. And the reality is, is yeah, you could have easily seen that happen the other way around. It sort of tests your empathy a little bit, you know what I mean? And sort of tests your sympathy because, like, you're doing the same thing to others that gets done to you. But as we all know, you, you'll get no sympathy from Ike. No, So sir. you know that he's going to fall down there and Krom's not going to give that same thing back to him. Beautiful roll read right there to take advantage of him out of the corner. Yeah, like you mentioned earlier, definitely do not want to be rolling against the big, strong disjoint that is Krom's smash attacks for sure. You gotta watch your tech chase situations, especially against Rivers Krom, man. He is so good at chasing you down into the punch off of a missed tech or just off of a tech read in general. And when you're a very slow character like Ike, it's just gonna get eaten alive even more, especially when you're as big as he is too. This might be the momentum okay. shift that he needs, uh -oh. but oh boy, this is bad. Here this is go. actually not good for Rivers we'll at all. Yeah, I mean, this is literally a counter pick, and honestly, I bet you Goblin was, was counting on this um, to some end. Once he yeah, got game one, that that's, you know, you're guaranteed at least another game where you could either keep trying to use that Ike, which has been looking honestly really sharp, all things considered, or you go to the yeah. main, and we are going to be seeing the main, so... I haven't really seen this particular matchup play out in some time just because of the lack of crown presence online for obvious reasons. And honestly, you don't even see that that many Roy's. Um, Roy a little bit more reliable online, if not just for uh, the, the sword dance move, because that move will kill you probably at the percent where is at right now. I hope it's I didn't literally it, limit but... cross slash. Okay. Woo! So, but I will tell you this: uh, you'll also, if you tune into uh, Rivers' streams, you'll see plenty of Crom Dittos and Roy's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that at the very least for him, not an uncomfortable position as far as matchups go. But yeah. 
We'll see it. We'll see if that plays a role, man. You're going to be the best Kron player in the world. You're going to have some followers who are going to want to pick up in your steed. You know, Rivers patents that, like, wave bounce side B in the air oh. to get out of disadvantage perfectly because they know how bad Krom's disadvantage is out of the air. So he's got to do whatever wow. options he can to make his way back out. And as far as this counter pick goes, it's really going to matter how Rivers is going to be able to get to the punch. Because up close, if he loses those interactions, or his kill power is going to help out him just a little bit more than it's going to do Krom. Imagine it's just the same character, pretty much general same mobility, except one is just so much stronger than the other. And Goblin can counter uh, Krom's uppie out of the air. Not that it matters if Rivers is beating him to the punch every time. The Ike was doing such a good job keeping him at disadvantage. Might be wondering if this switch was a little bit rash just after that one last kill in game two, Chris. You know, it kind of fooled me because I think there's just always that comfort of like, okay, I'm going my main now, I feel good. But like, th this is the thing, and, and maybe I'm a little guilty of this too, where, and you won't hear this very often, but you almost underestimate a little bit uh, Rivers in a sense when you see this character come out, you know, it's not very good online, and you hear all these things, you see the Panic Global chart. Uh, I believe it's Panic Global that basically tells you the popularity of characters and their results, Krom literally being like the worst character. So that stuff is enough to get in your head, but then you watch the way Rivers plays, even the way he's fading his recoveries and air dodging uh, off the level, as you say, and you're really mixing things up. And, you know, this is something that I don't know if Goblin was necessarily prepared for, because it plays out like a ditto, but the properties of these characters are different enough where, where it changes things, because Krom doesn't have any sour spots. That's a big difference in these characters so the stray hits count a lot more uh for Krom than they do for roy meanwhile though i mean roy does have similar combo potential as Krom, just not quite the same because that sword does hit just a little bit different yeah and he's getting into cheeky roy oh. rage kill territory especially with that side b if he gets caught by the ledge rivers is definitely going to utilize that mobility of Krom to the best of his ability and as you mentioned Krom not as popular oh. on Wi-Fi anymore. You can think of Mr. R not playing the character as much as well, who was just about another one of the greatest Kroms to really do it. But now he's off the level. No counter coming out from the part of Goblin. But it's not going to matter. He's going to be able to get that double-edged dance once again as that neutral B is going to take the stock. I thought he dropped his opportunity to wow. kill him right there. <laughs> but maybe so did Rivers. But then again, no. Uh, yeah, dude, that's the classic Rivers. And that is that is the reason why you'll find this guy coaching and, and giving people lessons uh, for, you know, honestly a pretty fair amount. Because he's smart enough to, to recognize your habits know if he should jump off and just aerial you or if he should just patiently wait and then take a swing when it's ready and that's literally what he did uh he, he just kind of stood there said hey i know you're gonna air dodge i know you're panicking and get back to the ledge and then he just f tilts uh you know it's it's one of those things you don't that's not your common like you don't see that commonly in, in a lot of players like the, just the overall patience and and really hitting the buttons exactly where you need to hit them that that is what top players are and goblin is very much a top player but I think in this particular case, Rivers just sort of, um, I mean, he knows, he's familiar with the matchup, and, and I think he just was sort of new, oh, that's the wrong clip. He just kind of knew what, uh, what you call it, what, uh, Goblin was going to do. Sorry, I'm, I'm like all distracted here, hitting too many buttons. Yeah, too many, I was, I was, Too many levers and pulleys on my end, that's all. I was tweeting out the strim stram again. 